As we count down the days until the end of 2019, the decade which gave birth to Tokyo Ghoul draws to a close. Unless you're one of those people who says the new decade starts in 2021, in which case, yes, you technically are right, but look, I'm trying to tell a story here. Yet despite the Tokyo Ghoul re, manga, and anime ending in 2018, the series carries on into the new decade through the recently released Tokyo Ghoul re Call to Exist and the mobile game Tokyo Ghoul Dark War. The developers of the game, Game Samba, recently asked us for some of our quote, darkest thoughts that we want to see in the game in 2020. Well, I hope to do one better and list my top 10 hopes for Tokyo Ghoul Dark War in 2020. Not all of these may necessarily be achievable or practical due to a myriad of legal, technical, and other sorts of reasons, but they do represent 10 ideas that I feel could add to the current game. With that said, let's get started. Number 1. New Characters The current roster of Tokyo Ghoul Dark War is quite diverse and even includes some surprises, such as Part 1, Take Hirako, and Chu Hachikawa. However, that only makes the absences all that more conspicuous, and in particular, one absence, that of the ghoul mask maker, Uta. Given the inclusion of figures like Hirako, Hachikawa, it's surprising that Uta, a prominent character throughout the series, as well as the ghoul responsible for designing and creating Kaneki's iconic mask, isn't currently in the game, and it would be good to add him in 2020, especially as he is at the centre of one of the game's very own loading screens. Yet what would be perhaps even more exciting for fans, including myself, would be the inclusion of characters from Tokyo Ghoul Re. Now there may be legal or logistical issues involved, we don't know. But wouldn't it be awesome if we could, for example, play as the Twink Squad, that being Urie, Mitsuki, Saito, and Shiratsu, as well, of course, as Heisei Sasaki himself. There are a host of other characters that would be great to see in the game. Number 2. Live Events One thing the game could really use are active live events, the type you often find in many other types of mobile games. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, unlike the current events, which are all recurring, for example, the challenge dungeon, where they keep coming back, these would be limited time events that could be used to attract new players to the game. Now, they would have four distinct components. Number one, in many cases, they would have their own unique original story. These could be based off Omaki, as we see in games such as Bleach Brave Souls, or even short, funny, little original stories. Number two, they can only be for a limited time. Unlike events such as the Challenge Dungeon, these events would be one and done. They come, they stay for maybe a week or two, and then they're gone. That's it. You can no longer play or win the prizes. On that note, number three, they should have much better prizes than the current events. Make them unique, make them special. Want to introduce Uto to the game? Why not have a special New Year's Uta event? And that would be a great way to introduce an SR or even an SSR Uta. Now, how would players be able to attain him? Well, there's two potential routes. One could be you set a certain number of points players have to achieve by doing things such as completing missions or objectives. Multiple users can win him. This can be done if he's an SR, for example. But if you want to introduce him as an SSR and create a real incentive for players, then why not have it so that only the winner, that being the player on the server with the most points, is the one who actually gets SSR Uta, and then 2nd through 10th, for example, can get a certain number of shards. This creates a real incentive not only for new players to come to the game because it shows as an active, thriving, lively community, but it also acts as a real incentive even for more experienced players. Number 3. We Need Awakening no, this isn't the call of some cult. Rather, the awakening function in Tokyo Ghoul Dark War could really be a lot more than it currently is. While we can awake certain SR characters such as Juzo Suzuya, the vast majority are currently blocked off because their awakening material is yet to be made available. 
it would be really great in 2020 if we can start seeing some of these in the game. For example, characters such as Corona Yasisa and Toto Rabbit, you can't make them SSRs from their base SR form, and it would be really great if that was added to the game. Number four, individual weapons. While certain weapons or items such as Arima's and Tatara's mask are already available, for the vast majority of characters, their items simply aren't available in the game yet, and adding these would add another way for us to improve our characters. Number 5. Greater Rewards So while certain modes currently offer excellent rewards, for example, the Summit Arena offers real incentives to fight, other modes just lack that same incentive, and in particular, the real-time battle. Now this should be an exciting mode, but unfortunately, at least on my server, the mode is just dead. You're never able to get into a game, and the one time I actually got points for a game, I didn't actually fight anyone at all. I was just sort of given the points, maybe out of sympathy for waiting for so long. And this is a real shame, because it could be such an exciting, dynamic mode that really helps foster a community. So, greater rewards are probably the best way to incentivize players. Number 6. Guild Battles The guilds in the game are slightly underdeveloped. Yes, we have guild trials and the guild shop, but other than that, there's not really much reason uh, to have a community within your guild. There's no reason for interaction. That's where guild battles come in. If we start having battles between guilds, as is often seen in many other mobile games, then this will encourage guilds to work together players to work together, which helps foster that community, energizes the player base. Also, it gives us more stuff to do in the guild, which is never a bad thing. Number 7. Increasing the energy cap. Now, pretty much since I started playing the game, my energy cap has been at 120, so apologies if it does eventually go up. But it would be really nice if we could increase that for higher level players. You know, once you get to level 50, 60, 70, 80, etc. We really need a higher energy cap than 120. Number 8. A revamped summoning or draw aesthetic. The summoning system in of itself is fine, but let's make it more attractive for new players. Let's highlight new characters such as Akira and Rize for Christmas, for example, and have them front and center. There should be something on the main page that indicates who the new characters are, who the main SSR characters that can be summoned are make the summoning a bigger part of the game within its aesthetic, and I think that would really just add to the luster and to the excitement of the draw. Number 9. Do something with Cochlea. I don't know what, just do something. And number 10. Keep adding new attires. So the Yukata attires, the Christmas attires, these are all great. Same for the Valentine's ones, and it'd be really great just to see more festivals. So those were 10 ideas for Tokyo Ghoul Dark War in 2020. But before I finish, I do quickly want to give a shout out to Game Samba. They are excellent at responding to any inquiry I've had. They respond within minutes at almost any time of the day. It it's, blows my mind how quickly they respond. And also I want to praise the game. The Summit Arena is really exciting. I think more games should make us use more of our roster. It's good that we have to use not just our main six characters, you know, the strong SSRs, etc. But sometimes, you know what, you have to rely on an SR, a rare, or even for me, a not rare. I, sorry, I'm on not rare, NR. I just use them a lot. And I think it's good that we have game modes that make us use our roster. Because it gives other characters utility. And that's never a bad thing. If we can be encouraged to improve our characters, I don't see how that hurts the game. I, I think it's a brilliant thing. Well, that's all for today. I have been Seung Dunes, I want to thank you for watching, and I wish you all a very happy New Year.